Well, thanks, uh, Angela, as well as Leslie, for having me on the program. And I love the flow of this afternoon. Starts with Canada, then it goes to the US, and it's my privilege to bring it all the way home to global. Because there is so much going on around the world. It's really, it's amazing, it's astounding, and it is humbling to be part of. Um, we had this map during our most recent conference in Lisbon, which took place in April of 2017. And Alpha One Canada was represented there as well. And this is an overview of what Alpha One Global is all about. We currently serve a network of 40 countries and our mission statement is to develop a collaborative global network of leaders, physicians and researchers within the community to increase awareness, detection and access to care. So Alpha One Global came out of the fourth International Patient Congress which took place in 2013. This was held in Barcelona and back then, a lot already happened in the Alpha One community. So this is nothing new. We're not reinventing any wheels. Alpha One uh, Canada has been around, Alpha One USA, a lot of Alpha One organizations in Europe. But at that point, we were ready to say, you know what, we need to start more collaborative work together. Let's not be redundant. Let's work together and find a cure in the areas specifically of research, of course, but also work together on resources, work together on patient advocacy, and anything that we can do on a global level to encourage each other and have a stronger voice. So that's what we started to do back then, and then I got hired, and I almost want to do a drum roll as far as my accent, because several of you have already asked, and kindly nobody has said, are you German? But um, I am Dutch, and I have actually lived longer in the United States, but um, it, it's Dutch. So I came from an uh, international background with international um, uh, nonprofits that I worked with. So I'm used to thinking both the, on this side of the pond as well as the European way. And a lot of our groups are in Europe, as you can see, in Western Europe, and now also in Eastern Europe, we have a lot of interest on the, in the research community and the physician community. So there's a lot going on right there. Let's see, the clicker. Um, <laughs> yeah. So we have three goals. Let me quickly talk you through this. Collaboration, that's where we facilitate ways to effectively work together on a global level in those three areas. And then we have materials and trainings and communiques that we, of course, work through. And then uh, we have network expansion as one of our uh, objectives because we always want to grow. The larger our forces, the bigger our voice. So that's roughly it. So if we break this down, so collaboration, what does that look like? So for us, really, we have a very strong uh, uh, desire to connect. And so one of our flagship events is always our International Congress. Like I said, the one that just took place in Lisbon, it's a biannual Congress and we combine it with the International Research Conference on Alpha-1 Antitrypsin. So that is scheduled to take place again in 2019. Then what we also do is regional training and collaboration. And currently we have a strong focus in Europe on this element of our uh, work because so much going on in Europe and talk about issues as uh, Durheim just re, you know, described here in Canada. Imagine that times 28 countries with all different policies and all different issues and all different healthcare systems and it is, it's baffling and for us to pull that together we can only do so much because whatever great idea we come up with, well, it doesn't work for us, well, it doesn't work here, well, you know, in our situation. So we have to just keep working on ways that we can do things. And one thing is that on an EU policy level, we are working with an advocacy group out of Brussels that has, has instated uh, policy recommendations that e every uh, MEP member of EU 
Parliament can take home to his or her country and drive through the systems there the awareness on a local and national level. So we are multi-layered in our approach, and that is something that Alpha One Global can bring. We cannot really work on a national level. It's not our place. That's where leaders, like in Canada, it's their ground, it's their, it's, that's their turf. But what we can do, where in particular, then again in Europe, is an example of bringing people together where we can be helpful as an umbrella program. So um, that is, that's one thing that we're working on and advocacy continues into uh, 2018. It's a whole thought through uh, strategy that we have for Europe. And then Alpha One collaboration takes place as well in Latin America. Looks very different because the community only is strong there in Argentina as well as Brazil. But the other countries, it's here, it's there. You know, people fall out of the sky and then call us and then we connect them. And so our researchers and physicians in Latin America are working on guidelines currently. So they are cranking away. But the patient community really is, is in its infancy as far as networking. But that's where we corral to and we just, you know, move along. And so we also have an, uh, a get-together in there next year, another congress that it's a smaller event, but that will take place for Spanish speakers only. It's going to be in Uruguay. The first one was in Argentina two years ago. So we keep massaging that and making sure that there is a way to drive the agenda forward in Latin uh, America. And then Australia, the same. Much going on there as well. Because around the world, most of our agenda is access to care. And in uh, Australia, they're currently in the process of driving that. And the patient community there is actively organizing themselves and has an e-petition going and do, does the best they can do in conjunction with all the stakeholders within that process. So much going on. And then as far as materials, training, communication. So of course we have our website, we have an e-news every other month. If you haven't signed up for it, I would welcome you to do so. Angela can tell you how to do this. But um, so the e-news is one month about the global community. You just hear what all your friends and family members are up to in the different countries. And then the other month is physician and research education. You can sign up for both if you have an interest. But we're separating them out by a little bit of emphasis for the different stakeholder groups that we're working with. And then uh, we have a leadership forum. We have quarterly leadership calls because that's it. Like I said, I work predominantly with the leaders. And then the leaders work with the groups on the, on the ground themselves. And then one of our... Um, projects right now is to create, we have just created an advocacy pathway for people to become involved as patient advocates. Like Duren was saying, what you can do here in Canada, we have written out exactly for anybody interested what to do, how to go about it. It's something you can read through, some things you know already, some things will be probably very beneficial, some things would be something to talk with Angela about, but we always are looking on an international level too for advocates to help us, for people that can step up and then show us examples, like here in Canada, to be an example to somewhere else in the world, because that's it. Like Leslie from Griffles just said to me, you know what, I, there's a lot going on here. I'm like, do tell, because as soon as that event is over, I'm going to talk to Angela and say, now how is that going again? And then there's an article, and then Sweden can say, oh, and then they call Angela, and that's how it goes. That's my role. So that's what we do. And then uh, the network expansion speaks to its own. You know, we uh, always try to find new patients, and if we do, we hope that they, we can grow them into leadership. That's really one of our uh, strong points. We just massage you into becoming a leader. And uh, that's what we've done with several people around the world. And we get them in default. And it's a very, very close-knit family. I can tell you that. I was just talking to the folks here last night. And it really is. It's a tight-knit international community. So we're very pleased about that and then expand the network of experts and trainers always. You know, we need to become better, have strong voices in the, in the world of advocacy on a regional level. So always looking for these strong, strong people that just join us. 
And um, the other one is the, the expansion of the network of physicians and researchers, also something growing, always looking for new researchers. I was just talking with Dr. Santaus about that for our next Congress. What can we do to get always new blood, new ideas, because that's what we should be thinking. So, seventh uh, Global Congress is forthcoming in 2019. Most likely it's going to be in Europe, and in case you wonder why, we usually go to European cities for this, pretty much because most of our leadership is in Europe. And people work full time, and they, you know, they have to fly with oxygen, and so we try to find places, because we are global, we're not European solely, but uh, it, it, that is just a reality, that most of our groups are there, and that's why we usually stick around for our global congress. Maybe that changes in the, in the near future, but for 2019, that most likely is the case. And as Henry said, for the US events, you are cordially invited, and I do the same for the global events. We'd love to have you, but definitely Alpha One Canada, of course, will be represented. And then, do I need to say more? This was taken by Angela of Leslie and me in Lisbon, and it was just so fun. I just found it, and this is what it's all about. This is what Global does. We connect. We have a strong, strong network that enables us to grow together and find a cure, and in the meantime, take care of each other. Thank you.